Now that we have our results, let's do some post-processing. Highlight solution in the tree and click deformation total. Click solve to evaluate the results and then let's take a look at it. We see that the deformation is very low on the ends and the max of 0.3 in the middle, which is what we expect. You can turn on the undeformed model using that option. If we go back to a solution, we can add normal strains in the x, y, and z direction, and we can do the same for stresses. The other result that we want to look at is the force reaction to match the results with the experimental data. Choose the frictionless to support or the displacement. Either one should give you the same results. Then right click and evaluate all results. And that's it. So go ahead and save the project. And you're done.